Is that you, God? <laughs> Something like that. So I, I can't see any of you, which is good because you know you all usually hear people. They go, you know, if you're nervous and you're talking in front of a crowd, you know, picture them naked. I don't want to betray any of you. <laughs> but that I was in behind there, and I'm like, hell no. <laughs> so yeah, my name is Tony Davidson. Now uh, this is my first time doing this. So um, let's get rid of the elephant in the room. Yeah. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah? How many people here are on a date? I know you, you, Eric, you've already asked this question. I was actually, like, you know, having a beer. I was like, what's going on? Shit, he's making all my jokes over there. <laughs> so, <laughs> actually, until like six of my jokes, I'm like, oh, fuck, I can't talk that. I can't talk that. And yes, these are my jokes. I write them down. Shit, this is my first time. Give me a chance. Okay, so, how many people here are actually on a date? Oh, my round of applause. There we go. Yeah, yeah. No? No? Oh, oh we've got one here. I, I know you're on a date. <laughs> oh, some sugar. How are you doing? <laughs> some black chocolate. That's what I'm talking about. Midnight blues. <laughs> nah. So, um, it's only you guys or anybody else on a date here? Come on. It's Valentine's Day. Of course you guys are on a date. Come on. It's beautiful. It's love. I mean, in, you know, that's, that's what, you know, the Big Ben is all about. It's about spreading love, you know, coming here together, having some, you know, we tickle your funny bone, having some fun together, and just spreading love around, which is a really, really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. I've been having a cold recently. I got a lot of time, don't I? I'm like, you all my job. <laughs> nah, but, um... <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. So yeah, my name is Tony Davidson. I just recently moved here to Stockholm to stop my career. I'm an economist, and um, personally, I don't really like um, Valentine's Day. I really don't, you know, because it's like the one day that is you know, devoted to emotion. It really is, where girls get to decide everything, and all the guys, you know, it's like being back on the plantation, like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're trying to work for that love, you know what I mean? Um, otherwise, you ain't getting some tonight. <laughs> they're working really hard, and you know, they're trying to buy flowers, taking on a date and shit. And me, I'm just like, hell no. <laughs> but, you know, one of the reasons why I don't like Valentine's Day is because my girl dumped me on Valentine's Day, man. <laughs> I know, I know, it was rough, it was rough, man. Because I, I really, I mean, <coughs> what I've come to understand now is that feelings are very important to women. <laughs> I didn't understand that at the time, I really did. Because, you know, that night, you know, I took this girl out for a dinner and a show. I thought, that was good, that was good, it's a dinner and a show. For her, she said, no, apparently, Cheeseburgers and a free comedy show doesn't count. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. You know, I want to ask you something. You know, have any of you guys ever traveled with first class? By a round of applause, first class. Oh, we got a couple, we got a couple. That's really, really good. I thought I was the first one because I actually did like a, a couple of weeks ago, you know. And if being a black man, traveling with first class, it's like a, a whole new world. <laughs> it's like something completely different, I'm telling you. It really is, you know. It, it's For those that haven't clapped, you know, traveling in first class, it's like having great sex. It really is. I did this like oh, a couple of weeks ago. We were going down to Germany, Berlin. And um, me and a colleague were going down there because we we're going to try to close this deal that my company has created. And it was really, really fun. We got in there. It was, it was super crazy, man. It was traveling is first class. Like I said, it's like having great sex. Or <laughs> Jamaica. <laughs> yeah, because you always want to tell somebody that you've been there. You never want to leave. And you always want to go back. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> and it, it, it was so amazing, man. But the week afterwards, I had the unfortunate problem because my client started having cold feet. So I had to go back there 
after I've been to Germany, or I had to go back there to try to convince him that this is a good deal. But this time it was so, it was so, what is the fucking English word for it? In poor. It was so quick. It was so quick, it was like, you gotta get down, you gotta get your ass down there really, really quickly. So I gotta, you know, they're like, let's try to find, you know, the first flight you can get your ass down there with. And the only thing they could find was Ryanair. <laughs> and I mean, if you, if you compare, like, first class to Ryanair, it's like comparing grade six to masturbating with sandpaper. <laughs> it's terrible, guys. Or Africa. No, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, I'm from Africa, I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> Apparently I got a few minutes left, so I even mean, got through the first paper. Terrible. Alright, let's move on, let's move on really, really quickly to my final stuff right here. You know, uh, one thing I actually thought about when I was coming up stage is, um, Eric, he said that I'm, I'm a virgin on stage, you know. So basically, in a, in a sense, you guys are taking my virginity right now. <laughs> and just like my first time, somebody's laughing. <laughs> and just like my first time, I have my family and friends in the room supporting me and cheering me every simple step of the way. Give me a hand applause to them.